Hi guys, I'm going to review what Jillian Berry eats in a day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jillian Berry and today's video is going to be awesome because I am doing a what I eat in a day video as a fully raw vegan. I do not cook my food and I feel... I, I agree with the raw part. Absolutely amazing. So I have a great day of food in store for you guys. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to be eating. It is late morning now. I started out the day. I got up around 7 with my kids. Oh, it's around 11 o'clock right now. I've already had a couple smoothies. I had a dragon fruit smoothie and also a green smoothie as well. And I did some errands as well. So now I'm ready. All that you had were smoothies for four hours while running errands and I assume bringing your kids to school and whatnot. That cannot be enough. Your body is not gonna be able to only run on sugar if it's under any kind of stress. Your body is gonna start eating itself. And smoothies are essentially just sugar. I need to have something else to eat and I can't wait to take you guys in. I also noticed that she has a lot of makeup on right away in the morning or more so for the video. I assume, of course, a lot of vegans, especially raw vegans, have to do this because of all the wrinkles and uh, we know how their faces usually look like. I don't know how hers looks like, but... Um... Inside my apartment and show you guys what I'm going to eat next. Now I am inside my apartment and I'm just getting ready to do a little bit of work. I'm working from home today and I'm creating some videos, some amazing content for you guys. I'm hungry right now, I want a snack, so I'm going to have some papaya, which is my favorite fruit ever. It's so good. And I'm actually going to have it with some lime. So this is a big thing. If you guys have tried papaya with lime... I really can't stand papaya at all. <laughs> to each their own. I know people who like it anyway. The point here is that, of course, papaya only has fiber and sugar and a few minerals, okay, but essentially it's just sugar again. She had more liquid sugar before and now, really, <laughs> it's the same at the end of the day, except that it's not made into a so-called smoothie. Hmm. Comment down below. So many of my friends tell me constantly this is just the best thing ever in the whole world, so I'm excited to try this. Not at all, except if you're starving and you're craving food so much that it seems like the best thing in the world. For most people, not at all. Very good. Mm. Pretty delicious. And this fruit, papaya, is just so satisfying. The best thing in the world, at least that's what people always tell me when they consume it for the first time, is blood. The energy and vitality that it gives you is indescribable. So good. So I'm going to enjoy this. And then in an hour or so, when I'm ready for lunch, I will turn the camera back on and let you guys know what I'm having for lunch. It is lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. And I'm going to have not such a heavy lunch. <laughs> it's just funny because you must be hungry all of the time. Because if you only consume sugar and fiber, you have hunger. You must have. I can see that she doesn't have a lot of body fat left anymore, which is typical with raw vegans especially. And what happens then is that your body starts consuming the fat around the organs and eventually the organs themselves and this is why raw vegans can get serious health issues today i like to have a heavier dinner like a heavier meal to end the day lately it is so good and it's just romaine hearts with mango filled with mango salsa so i snack on these and they are freaking delicious you guys i feel like the fruit and the greens together are so satisfying and they make me feel so good and then i'm also going to have a bunch of these what is in any way satisfying about lettuce, uh, green leaves, in any way at all, just tell me, because it can't be, because it is only fiber and water with almost no micro or macronutrients, it's just literally nothing. <laughs> what can be satisfying, satiating about it, or anything even close to that, doesn't make any sense. The mango salsa, I don't know what that is, I assume that it's something to imitate something uh, Savory, of course, which is what raw vegans always crave because they crave animal food so incredibly much. So, of course, she's probably gonna imitate something like that now. These olives. So, olives are just so delicious and they are a great probiotic. So they are really good for your gut and your gut bite. Olives are almost never raw, but uh, okay, I don't know what kind of olives she has there. Bacteria and your gut is so connected to your brain. So the more olives I feel like I eat, the happier my mood is, the more I'm laughing. So I love to incorporate some raw olives into my diet. So I will snack on a bunch of those after. I'm excited to show you guys what- Okay, uh, no offense, but uh, you seem quite depressed and um, really not in a good mood at all. I'm planning for dinner tonight because it's going to be amazing. It's one of my favorite meals ever. You guys, I'm telling you, you have to try this. You will be hooked. 
And what I love about this too is it is ready in literally like... You should never be hooked on food. That's a sign that you're addicted to it, that you're craving it so much, that you're obsessed with it. And essentially, it's a sign of an eating disorder. 10 seconds, you have the meal ready. So I like that. Raw food does not have to take time at all to be delicious. It's amazing. So... Okay, we can agree on that. I also eat raw food, but I eat raw meat. Okay, that's the natural food for human beings. That's what we fry on. You kind of got it right with not eating cooked food, but uh, <laughs> you're eating man-made plants that don't even exist in nature. Do you understand that? Which means that it is in no way our natural food. It cannot be because it's not found in nature, which means that a human in nature was never able to eat that. So what did they have to eat naturally to be healthy? <laughs> Think about it. I'm gonna go enjoy these and enjoy some olives on the side. And then when I'm ready for my afternoon snack, I will turn on the camera and show you guys what I'm gonna have. It's around two o'clock right now and I just got hungry for a little snack. And yesterday at Whole Foods, they had the most beautiful figs ever. And these are perfect. It's good that she eats a lot. I'm very much for that, especially if you're a raw vegan or almost fruitarian, it seems. And of course, what else are you going to eat as a raw vegan anyway? Because uh, you don't want to lose any of the body fat, which you really, really need for survival. And as I said, she doesn't have much left. Putting a lot of sugar into your body all day long with not long breaks is exactly what you should be doing. But uh, it is not sustainable because you will still be needing some protein and animal fat, you have to use it for the essential functions of your body. And they just look delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy a big plate of figs. I don't know if you guys, if you've tried figs before, comment down below, but they are so good, I love them. So good, figs are really high in potassium, calcium. They're really good for your digestive system. And it's just nice to try something different now and then. And these just unique fruits are so delicious. So you know what, I might get a little hungry before dinner. If I do, I'll probably have a couple honey crisp apples or just another little piece of fruit or something like that, a little bit of fruit. Um, but then I'll turn the camera back on for dinner time. I'm so excited to show you guys what I'm gonna have tonight and I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, so it is dinner time and tonight I am making a raw pasta. If you watch my channel, you know I love raw vegan pasta so much. They are my favorite dinner ever and they're so cheap because this zucchini was a dollar and it makes a really big portion of pasta and the sauce only takes like one minute to make so these meals are fast. this is just I so typical i don't even know Robbie what to say <laughs> and i manage just fine i absolutely love it so i'm gonna prepare this this is a creamy cashew corn uh recipe it is so good i've done this on my channel before but creamy and make sure you guys subscribe if you don't already because i create great content every single week and i post at least once a week usually two or three times and for part of it, I have some soaked cashews right here. So I'm just going to get some of the water out of these and strain these. And it's just so much easier to blend and to digest when you soak the cashews. So I always do that now. Yeah, she mentions digestion because cashews are a seed and seeds are very hard to digest. Oh, I buy these raw cashews on Amazon. Because they're inedible. Down below, but I really like these. Many people do not realize when you heat up the Vitamix long enough and in a powerful enough setting, it actually warms up like with while still maintaining it as a raw dish. It's still, it warms it up and it, it really makes the dish like not so cold and just a nicer temperature. So that's great. And then also spice as well. People don't realize like the... Yeah, just... <laughs> of course, you don't always want to eat completely cold food. You can get used to it, but realistically, when you hunt an animal, it's going to be very warm. Turmeric powder that went in that, or even things like ginger, cayenne, garlic, like they have a naturally warming effect on your body. So like, you don't always have to be like freezing on the raw diet. All right, uh, <laughs> oh, this, is, this is getting good. <laughs> ginger has a warming effect on the body because it's toxic. Your body has to heat up, similar to how it is when you get fever and you have to fight off the toxins. And then, of course, you feel warmer as a raw vegan because you can't produce enough energy to stay naturally warm. Jesus. I know a lot of people think you're always cold, but there's definitely tips and tricks around that. I am just mixing this up really good oh, with my clean hands before I plate it on the nice plate. I will probably... She does actually also seem very cold. It's just this fragile ugh, look we make the same thing for my mom as well for dinner soon i think she'll be back soon and she loves this dish how good does this look this is so yeah right satisfying so this is definitely where i'm getting a lot of calories for the day because this is a heavy creamy cashew dish. okay 
Am I the one who has to say this? You want noodles with cheese and butter. <laughs> Hello, wake up girl. It's so incredibly obvious. Why would you as a raw vegan have this as your favorite dish? Why do so many raw vegans like it so much? It's because as children, most of you ate noodles, spaghetti, with cheese. That's what you like about noodles. Noodles as such are garbage, but uh, the combination of the animal fat protein and the carbs can be very satisfying for a human being, especially when the body doesn't know any actual natural food. And this is exactly what you're craving right now. Your body fat is very low from what it seems. And uh, this is why your body wants those noodles with cheese. You completely ignore what your body wants and eat that instead. Just completely listen to your body for once. Can a raw vegan once just do that and stop this nonsense? It's so delicious and I just, I feel like if I eat cashews straight up like that, they don't work well with my body. So I never eat them just raw by the handful. Soaking them and putting them in a dish like this, I feel like it works well with my digestion. And this is just so satisfying and so delicious, you guys. I'm a little bit awkward with chopsticks, but I want to give this a try. And this is going to be... Eat animal foods and you won't have any problems at all with your digestion. Just none. How, like, professional looking does it look? If you want to, like, make this for your family, they will enjoy it and think it just looks amazing. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't have over 15 micronutrients. And really, it doesn't even have any macronutrients it just has a little bit of carbohydrates <laughs> really good yeah so i'm gonna go enjoy this and raw vegans are really funny be below. it's around six o'clock right now this is usually the latest that i try to eat sometimes i'll eat around seven but i feel like my digestion and how i sleep turns out way better when i stop eating around five or six i do feel oh my god but why do you not realize that it's the raw vegan diet, the unnatural man-made diet that no human eats in nature? That's what's causing all of the problems. The anti-nutrients and the fiber are so hard on your gut that yes, a lot of raw vegans complain that they can't sleep. Like a little bit something right now though, so I'm gonna enjoy some grapes, some of these beautiful green and red grapes that I got. It always feels so awkward when I'm eating on camera. This also explains why she's losing more and more weight. I don't know how she used to look like. Of course, if you don't consume anything that sustains your body, your cells, then you're going to eat yourself slowly. She's consuming a lot of sugar, which is helping to slow down the degeneration, but eventually it catches up with all of them. I really like to see me eating. These are really good. So I love fruit. And speaking of fruit, last night I did a video with... Um, Ann Osborne, she is a 30-year fruitarian, so I'm just going to watch that back. Yeah, right. And just see if it needs any... Just imagine how gullible you have to be to believe that somebody has been eating only fruit for 30 years, when people who try to do it for one year sometimes almost die. If you push it to f two to three years, poor, you're going to look insanely bad. And I've interviewed people who have done fruitarianism no cheating nothing not the ones who sell books do presentations and make money off of it no the actual ones who believe these people who promote it and do it 100 percent answer anything on my computer so that's it for this video i do hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up right now make sure you guys subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye all right i don't know her but she seems like she's quite down to earth maybe i'm wrong it's just one video that i saw but she's definitely misguided. Uh, that's the case with a lot of vegans. They may mean well, and they may really believe that veganism is healthy for you, but uh, there were so many instances where you could very easily tell that uh, she's just not listening to her body whatsoever. Her natural instinct is completely being ignored, which makes you think, how do you get to that point? It does happen quite often that vegans become quite delusional and can distinguish between reality and their own religious beliefs of what is supposed to be healthy. Do I actually want to eat this or am I craving something else? They can't listen to their own instinct. The brains become quite foggy, for example, which is what they very often talk about. Thanks for watching.